How's it going YouTube? Lone PC Gamer here and today we're going to be playing some Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planewalkers 2013. Um, let's actually take a look and see what uh, battle we're doing here. I'm in Ravnica now. Uh, gold, silver, gold and I'm about to do this. I'll, I'll go back and play this before I, before I do him. But I, I played this once with a uh, with the white deck and I lost horribly. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm playing against a, even though you can't see it, it's a red white deck. And uh, all he does is lays down helixes, does three damage to either my creatures or me, he gains three life, I lose creatures or I lose three life, and that's all he does, and he has, uh, well you'll see, I won't, I won't spoil it all at the beginning, um, but I think I'm going to try out blue here. I normally don't play blue, I don't really like blue, other than its counter abilities and, and flying, but I prefer... Uh, white deck for that. Let's see, we start off with two mana here. We got a... Kraken. We got an artifact, a ring of Evo's Isle. Remember, an instant target creature. That's... That might help me out later. I'll save that one. Draw all cards equal to the number of cards in an opponent's hand. Rebound. Now, for those of you that don't know what a rebound is, rebound, as it says here, spells with rebound don't go to your graveyard when they're done resolving like normal spells, but get moved to the exile zone instead. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you can cast them again for free. I'm going to keep this and see what happens. Looks like I'm going first, so we'll lay down our first land here. And why not? Get a defender out, even though I know I'm not going to need it. I want to see Helix come straight from my life. As soon as she's able. This, the computer's not worried about its life because it knows it has... Uh, I'm assuming it knows it has those cards in it. It can think like it can. Maybe I'm just dumb. Um... Let me get our artifact out here. I can't attack, can't equip it. No more mana left. Why would I attack? You're about to see what type of shit I've been taking here. A lightning helix deals three damage to target creature or player, and you gain three life. So great. He does three to me. He gains three. So that puts me at 17 nothing so he ends his turn well, at least we got a fog bank right <laughs> all right so we got three mana to use he has no creatures so that's pretty much ineffective he has nothing else so that's ineffective I can equip him on the him Well, at least we have two mana left. I can get him out. Now, another thing about it, I probably should have waited. No, it's a defender, never mind. I'm gonna skip attack and wait till our next turn, till he gets a 1 1 counter put on him. Yeah, there goes the lightning helix. He's gonna destroy that. I'll s yeah, I don't know why I stopped. I have no mana. So there that goes, I lose him and he gains. So it looks like I gotta be careful on what I actually lay down here. We're flying at plus one, plus one. I have no flying creatures. He has no creatures. Ineffective, ineffective. For seven, nothing I can do yet. combat and that's all I can do right now is attack him bring him down to 25 what do you fucking do this has to be the most annoying battle that I've uh, came across in this game so far and I'm not that far into it maybe I don't know maybe 10 duels something like that um it's an 
jam, and I guess I can throw it out there. Why not? Use my mana up this turn, that way I don't use it up later. And I'll be done. Pass it along to him. See, he looks come at my face. Oh no, I think he has enough mana for that creature. Maybe not, maybe he needs five. I forget. The creature that he lays, I forget the name of it, but it's a 4-3 and it uh, allows him to do double damage whenever he plays a red uh, spell like, like shock or something. Instead of 2, it would do 4. I just drew this, flying 8-7, so that enchantment going to help me out later on if I ever get that mana. Okay. I'm sitting at 14, he's at 28. Yay! Yay! This is an instant. So... Could stop the timer when he plays a helix. But what is he doing here? He's playing that. Uh, stop the timer. I'm gonna use this on him. Now I can use it. So that goes away. He used all his mana up. It gives us a little bit of breathing room here. Not much. I know it looks uh, pretty bad right now. So I got four mana to use. Nothing I can play with. Um. So I'm just gonna have to attack again. Hope for the best. I can't be preventing stuff like that all the time either, so I know it's just a matter of time before I dwindle down. Yeah, he has like unlimited helixes in there, so. Guess I'm done. What are you playing? Uh, I got nothing to play with anyway. Nothing to prevent it. So he comes into the battlefield. Let me show you the card here. Uh, Fire Servant. Costs 5, 4, 3. If a red instant or sorcery spell you control would deal damage, it deals double damage instead. It's so my turn. Let's draw a card here. Other planes. That gives us 5. The only thing I can play is this. You can block. It's not going to do anything anyway. My guess is he's just going to take this damage that I dish out to him. He's not going to sacrifice that. So these helixes that he's going to be throwing out because of that creature card are now going to be dealing 6 damage to either a creature or myself. And it's going to be me. Because the six will not kill that, that creature I got out there. There it is. Six to me. So that puts me at eight. Brings him up to 22. This is not looking good here. Um, I can play this. It gives him negative five. Negative zero till the end of turn. Preventing his damage since I don't have a blocker. So nothing happens there. Okay, now we can use this. A draw cards equal to the number of cards in the opponent's hand. He has two. That's all I can really do right now. Well, I got two of these 8-7 flying now. I don't think I'm going to survive that long. Um, I also got a 3-1 flying. Um, you know, he's going to do the helix and he's going to attack. I have no... He does a helix and attacks and I attack this turn. 
I can't block that and I would die, so I'm gonna skip the attack this turn. Hopes of him attacking with that. He won't now, since I didn't. Here's the Helix coming at me. I'll be taking six down to two. He'll end his turn. I need something amazing. Um. Draw two more. And play our land here. We have seven now. Let's play smart. What do we got? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put two two blue drag creature token flying out of the battlefield. Four. I don't know what that's gonna do. I can lay him out. That's not gonna do anything. They don't have haste. And if, even if they did, it wouldn't matter. So, let's go out in style here and bring on an 8-7 flying. This is embarrassing. This deck is so hard, I gotta, I gotta think. Maybe a black deck would do good against that. Um, I'm gonna have to skip it. Watch me die by a helix right here. Maybe it'll mess with me and just not play well. There it is. Say goodbye, guys. I just lost. <sighs> Again. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this look into Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planewalkers 2013 against one of the most annoying decks I've ever came across so far. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you watched this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, keep an eye out for some of my upcoming gameplay videos and some unboxings that I'm going to be doing for Magic the Gathering Gate Crash series, a new series that just came out. So I uh, hope you guys have a good day and take care.